Well, it is a really nice day here in South Florida. Not too hot, little bit of a breeze, slight overcast. Perfect day to visit the front yard. Yeah, so today we're going to vlog our day. And go nowhere. Right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. It is a gorgeous day here in South Florida. It is windy. This is why, like, this time of the year, having, like, Caleb's birthday parties outside was a very difficult thing. If you've tried to, like, hang paper products in this season, it's like, they're everywhere. Yeah. It's just, you can't do it. So, it is a gorgeous day. Hopefully, it's getting windy out, so hopefully this, this audio about. is okay. But, uh, yeah, so it's funny, though, because it is dark over there. Yeah. But over there perfectly sunny south florida typical south florida we've had plenty of times where it was literally raining in our backyard and sunny in the front yard so don't get upset if it starts to look cloudy and don't be too cocky if it looks happy so yeah so we have a busy day we have a busy week so rachel has a bunch easter. of shipping to drop off we have to do a bunch of filming for easter church prep two crazy ketos prep we have some product reviews to do and then next week we're planning on a keto chow challenge, right? We're yeah. gonna do we're gonna do some keto chow only to get us back on track because yeah, been a little off track. Not Stress. going off keto, just eating. eating too much. Too many snacks throughout the day, too much grazing, even like eating beef jerky, so just a little bit too much grazing for me. I do a lot of creative work eating. Yeah. Do you ever do that? Like creative eating, like, yeah, the blood is a pumping and we are excited and we're doing good things. And I'm not stressed out as far as like, I'm sad or angry or, you know, hurt, but I'm just like, I'm, I'm pumped. And sometimes I want to eat right. to power that. And for me, I've been doing a lot of working at night. And so I want to snack even more at night when I'm sitting at my computer and it's late. And I'm like, ha, I need something to keep me up. Yeah. So I'm going to head to work. Rachel's going to go drop off shipping. And then we'll kind of check in throughout the day. What are we eating today? I uh, haven't decided yet. It'll be a surprise. So you guys will see this actually later in the video because it's like 7 in the morning right now. And Rachel doesn't know this. She just left to go drop off some shipping. But I'm going to order wings for us to have for dinner today because it is buy one get one free Tuesday at Buffalo Wild Wings. But last week we tried to get wings and they were sold out. So I'm going to place my order now for wings and then we're going to pick them up at like 1130 and then we'll have enough wings that we can eat today and then also have some tomorrow. Okay, wings are all ordered ready to go we've got a whole bunch of wings we've got like 60 wings coming for us we also got some wings for the boys grayson what are you doing you're on one foot that's Just how he sleeps hanging out well look at this it is actually mildly clean in here it's mildly clean it's not super look you called grayson and the dog came running because she's so jealous yeah so Here's the thing about cleaning my office because Grayson is in here. I love Grayson. But one thing about African Grays, they have like this little fine white dust that comes off of them. It's what keeps them clean. And it gets everywhere. So it gets underneath the monitors and under the cables. You have to move everything. I have an air filter. But the problem is it doesn't get everything. It only gets some of it and you constantly have to clean everything. Grayson, is daddy telling the truth about you? He's he, just like, yeah. He's trying to clean off his little white stuff that gets all over your desk, daddy. Well, that's what protects him and keeps him clean. So yeah, it's, it's as good as it's gonna get considering how busy we are. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Why is there a chicken on your screen? What are you doing with a chicken? Okay, so all of our t-shirts that we have for our website or like on our website, they come from Amazon. But in light of everything that's happening right now, Amazon has suspended 
like printing t-shirts. So if you go to try to order a shirt, you can't order any of our shirts, which I didn't even know. People have been messaging us going like, I want to order a shirt. How do I order it? Well, Amazon's not doing shirts. And we do it that way because then we don't have to stock them or print them or anything like that. We only make a dollar or two. It's more about like letting you guys have our name and stuff like that. So I have a vinyl cutter, very much like Watch Autumn Keto. I was talking to her about it on her live stream. I have a vinyl cutter. And we have a sublimation printer because we can print, that's how we print our like Two Crazy Ketos mugs. We do it ourselves. Well, with that, we can do our own t-shirts, but I have not yet figured out how to use the vinyl cutter. So I'm trying to learn how to do it. And I want to make a t-shirt with a chicken and on the bottom, it's going to say Farm Fresh. Fueled by Farm Fresh Butt Nuggets. Wow. But I was looking at some of these designs in light of everything that's going on. Look at some of these, like with the toilet paper. That's how we roll. You never know what you have until it's gone. I kind of love that. <laughs> Wash your hands, say your prayers, because Jesus and germs are everywhere. Is that not awesome? Wash, some of these are brush, awesome. Floss, flush. Like, we should just make some of these t-shirts. How fun. I like this one. The toothbrush and toothpaste. I hate my job. The toilet paper. Oh, please. Like, who has it worse? So, yeah. So, I am trying to figure out. In the midst of everything, I love doing craft stuff. And now, of course, my mind is on, like, I want to figure this out. So, nothing else matters, which is probably not a good idea. But... I'm trying to figure out how to work our silhouette vinyl cutter because what we have will allow us to print it on the one thing and then cut it out and then we can put it on t-shirts and we can sell them like really, really cheap, like just for a few dollars. Well, hello neighbor. This is the worst possible angle for my neck. No matter what I do or how much fat I still have left in my thighs, Every single time I lose an inch, it comes out of my neck. So I'm just gonna have a goozle pretty, pretty soon. So I had to go and drop off the shipping. Thank you, Lord, for the post office and for FedEx, because yeah, there are no comic book conventions on the horizon and no storefronts to sell any merchandise in. So we gotta sell it and ship it. So I'm really, really thankful for the post office just doing their thing. And I go right to the loading dock and put all of our packages out there. And so I really never even come in contact with anybody anymore. It's kind of like eerie not to see another human being. And I'm driving home and it's taking me way longer to get home than normal because since there's not a lot of people on the road, they've torn up every road that leads to my house and they're doing road construction work, which I get, like that makes sense. It's just, it takes a really long time to get home. <laughs> so I'm heading home. I understand that there are wings in my future, which makes me really, really happy. And yeah, so let's head home. Hey. Hello. Just in time. I got wings. I was going to say, I heard that there was wings on my horizon. So yeah, I hightailed it. Where are you going? I am going to drop off some grocery supplies on the doorknob of my mother's door. What are you wearing? We're going for like the, you know, chic pajama look right nice. now. I have regular pants on though. I like those pants, but the shirt's a little big. Yeah, it's all right. Comfy. Okay, so here's what we've got. I got some Parmesan garlic for the boys. We're not eating that. And then I've got us uh, some spicy garlic. I love spicy garlic. I got some Chipotle barbecue. And What's then your favorite? a whole bunch of salt and vinegar. These are just not for today though. This is like food for the next couple of days. We're not eating all of these wings today. Well, I honestly think even as hungry as I can get, I don't think that I could eat 80 wings at a sitting. So one of the things that we like to do when we get wings is we put them back into the air fryer because uh, Rachel doesn't think they're crispy enough. No, I'm the, kind of the same way. They just don't make them crispy enough. So we're gonna put a bunch in here on this tray and then we put them into the toaster oven and air fryer for just like 10 minutes to crisp them up even more. And what's the temperature you use? I usually use like 375 for like 10 minutes on the air fry setting or in a regular air fryer for like five minutes. It makes a huge difference. 
So my wings are done. And while some people may think that this is like too crunchy and done, they are just right for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I know Joe is in the shower and probably hoping I will wait for him, but you snooze, you lose, buddy. Okay, here's my plate of wings. I've got some spicy garlic. I've got some of the salt and vinegar. I took a couple of the kids' Parmesan garlic. I don't like to eat a bunch of those because they're higher in calories. Also a couple extra carbs, but two won't kill me. How are your wings doing? They're, they're so good, I'm like almost done with this entire tray. <laughs> We'll still probably have a little bit of keto chow ice cream or something later, but we're gonna eat this. This is our primary meal. What is it like uh, by the time we're eating? Almost one o'clock, right? Yeah, we're trying not to eat so late today. Y'all think we're kidding when we say that she is the laziest dog ever. Look at this. She's not moving. Her eyes are closed. She's rolling over. Her tail is wagging. Yet, yeah, I'm not moving, Dad. Sorry, my spot. What are you doing? I'm I'm trying to get out. <laughs> well, that's not working. You're not <laughs> helping me. <laughs> I pushed you to the edge. Yeah, but that doesn't. I gotta get to the shallow ends. <laughs> Push me. That's not the shallow end. <laughs> we have a. What are you doing? I didn't finished my coffee this morning and so I put it in with some ice and froze it. <laughs> I learned a new trick with super coffee this morning. Okay. I drink them too quickly. So I took a mint chocolate, like super coffee. That's I good. put it in the Vitamix mm -hmm. with a few ice cubes and about four to six ounces of regular brewed coffee and made a really good, like almost like Frappuccino. Oh, wow. It was like really good. You have to make one for me. So I was thinking we have a little bit of a problem. Okay. So I know we're like on like, you know, hey, you're supposed to social distance and not go to the store if you don't have to. We have less than one 12 pack of seltzer water left. <laughs> and today is the final buy one, get one free at Publix. So I feel like we better go stock up in seltzer water because I'm not paying $5 a 12 pack for seltzer water. Well, let me check and make sure that like no one else in the family needs anything because okay. then I can just, we can get it while we're out and then just hang it on their doorknobs. Yeah. I mean, I'll just run in and out and get it, but yeah, we need seltzer water. I can't like not have seltzer water. Tabitha, what are you doing? Look at her head. Tabitha said, look at her head. Look right here. Can you guys see it? Look at how, sit down Tabitha, it's like blonde. Sit, sit. I dyed it. Rachel dyed her hair because when she had like the infection from when she got into a fight with probably an iguana, we were trying to heal the infection with peroxide. And yeah, so now she's, she got a little bit of sun in. It's gonna have to grow out. Ah, uh, the benefits of getting to stay home. It's taking a short break. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna run to Publix and get some seltzer water because it's buy one, get one free. Do we need anything else? Because I don't wanna have to go back out. Are we good on eggs? Uh, we have about four or five dozen left, but nothing is on sale. And I'm still not paying $6 a dozen unless we absolutely have to. Maybe it'll be on sale next week. So this morning when we filmed the intro, it was 72 degrees. Look at that temperature. I love Florida. 70 in the morning. 95 in the afternoon. So I got the seltzer water. They only had three flavors. They had lemon lime, they had grapefruit, and they had black cherry. Uh, I like all those flavors. I wish they had their orange cream one. It's the polar that's on sale, but at least I got some seltzer. I bought six, uh, 12 packs of it. So that'll get us through for a little while. But I realized while I was out, I need to run into CVS because I need to pick up my CGM uh, prescription. I haven't been wearing one for a few days because the one that I had uh, ran out. I just haven't had time to go to CVS to pick one up but Rachel and I are getting ready to do a fast and I love having a CGM on when I'm doing a fast so I can see what my blood sugar is doing or what my glucose is doing. They had seltzer water only three flavors though. Oh I wish I knew you were going to CVS because I'm almost out of hairspray and makeup. Too late I'm not going back. <laughs> is it crazy in there? It's a little crazy in there. Why are you wearing a like track running suit from some high school we didn't go to? I'm hoping to inspire myself to go running. <laughs> okay.
Okay, so I went to I went to uh, Publix. They only had three flavors: grape, lemon, lime, and black cherry. But that's it. I bought the last three 12 packs they had. At least it's something. Grape. Not grape. I'm sorry. Grapefruit. Okay. Grapefruit. Then I went to CVS <laughs> because I had to get my CGM because we're going to fast, right? We yeah. said we were going to do a fast and I like wearing the CGM to see what my glucose is doing. Mm -hmm. And then look what I got. No hairspray. Sorry. But you don't need any because we're like stuck home. I got scrunchies because I want to try to make our own masks. I saw a thing that you could make them by just taking material and use the scrunchies as the ear loop. You basically oh. like wrap the material around the scrunchie and then the scrunchie can hook over your ear. That doesn't, well, your hair is too short for the, those. Well, you know, you've always got Anthony, uses them all the time. So. Yeah, but we got to hide them from Anthony. It's These are to make masks, not for Anthony's man bun. This is how my mom used to do my hair all the time when I was a toddler. <laughs> like, this is the height of toddler fashion. So one of the things that I really worry about now that both Anthony and Caleb are driving is their safety because neither one of them really know how to get around without having like the mapping system on their phone but i don't want them really playing with their phones and you know getting distracted that way especially as like they're both new drivers they're both 19 years old and they're just starting to drive now on their own so i ordered these radios on amazon i'm gonna leave a link for them down below these were super cheap they're like 60 dollars but these are CarPlay radios. They're, I mean, they're from China. They're like not like a name brand, but they do have really good reviews. So while Rachel is in the other room, I'm gonna go install these in the car because she doesn't really like it when I do this kind of stuff because it means tearing apart the entire dashboard. One time she got a car and within like a day, I had the entire dashboard and the seats out while I was like wiring in new stuff. And she like practically, freaked out and killed me when she saw like wires hanging everywhere. So I gotta go do this while she's distracted with her, you know, like Chinese dramas. What is this joker doing? He better not have like ripped out the entire dashboard. What are you doing? Uh, nothing. Are you like ripping out the entire dashboard? Uh, Look at this! Look at this! What? That's all wires and stuff. What are you doing? Come in here. You can see I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Look, it's, it's going back together. I put a new radio in for Caleb. I did one in Anthony's car too. Look at this like little pixelated okay. dash. It's, it's, look, look, good as new. Oh, I love the slamming. Is that, is that factory? Good as new. Look. Okay. It looks good, but I, watch this. Remember, 19, was it 2004? 2004. 2004 car now has a reverse oh, camera. Oh, thank you. Cause yeah, I totally worry about that with him. It is amazing that our kids cannot back up without a reverse camera. Don't kid yourself, I can't either. Look what I did. Oh wow. This car now has CarPlay in it. Hey, just so you know, Dr. Barry, 7.30. I'm excited about this. Like he's actually got like a good radio now. I'm super excited. He can have his maps on here. Well, I like him not looking at his phone when he's trying to find a place. Yeah, you wanna see what I did with Anthony's car? Yeah. So what did you do in this one? Okay, so for this one, it's a slightly different radio, but it was still a really cheap like 60 or $70 radio. But this car was a little bit more difficult because you had a navigation system and everything here. But the problem is the thing was outdated. This is a 2013. Yes, yeah, so then you have to pay for it to have a new navigation system. And let's face it, who does that when you have your phone? So we put a similar radio in, but you, I'm glad you didn't catch me ripping this one out <laughs> because this one, there were wires and I had to cut out USB plugs. It was and ugly. Else. But it's the same thing. There's a little place down here that you could just plug in your iPhone. And then when you plug it in, this becomes CarPlay. So oh, now cool. same thing. So he's got maps and everything up here. He can listen to his Amazon music. He can listen to his spot. Oh, look, Dr. Barry again. You can listen to Spotify. It, it all depends on what you have set up on here. Uh, but also, if you remember, this was Rachel's car. And it was a great car, but the rear the camera got all foggy. Like you couldn't see anything out of it. I didn't even it. know what we did to it. You didn't do anything. I found out it's like condensation that gets inside of the camera and you have to replace the camera. And that's not covered under the warranty, the extended warranty. So it was gonna be like $200. So instead of fixing that, 
I put in a little $19 one that goes over the license plate and oh, it's wow. got a brand new camera on the back. And that's perfect. That's all he needs is to be able to, it doesn't do the fancy stuff like beep if you like, you know, are coming close to something, but at least he can see if there's like a kid running behind him or something like that. So I'm super excited that now I feel that they're gonna be able to drive just a little bit safer with not having to play with their phones to look on a map so two or cars, something like that. Two radios, two backup cameras, what's the total price? Both cars cost me less than a hundred dollars to put it in. I mean again, they're not including the camera. Including the camera. The radios were sixty five dollars and the camera was fourteen ninety nine. Wow. The only thing extra amazing. was in this car, I had to pay for like the thing to make it look like the factory, this piece here, and that was another $19. Totally but, worth it. But other than that, I mean, it looks like it came from the factory, and now the kids have safer cars. I'm super excited about it. What are you doing? Checking my Facebook. Look what we got. Are these Pop-Tarts? Well, they're keto Pop-Tarts. Legendary. You want to go do a review of them? Yes. We'll do a review of them and then we can also have the kids try them and see what they think. Oh yeah. Okay, Caleb. We just did a review for keto pop tarts and we need you to take a taste. That is a brown sugar and cinnamon flavor. That's not bad. I mean, the filling tastes good. It tastes sweet. It looks like a pop tart. Here's my question. If just in eating that, if we didn't tell you that was sugar free, would you know it's sugar free? Absolutely not. <laughs> I don't know why we bother buying toys for the dog. She just finds boxes and runs them around the house and tears them up. Look, look at this. Look at this. She just finds boxes and then they become a new toy. Look, they're always, it's on the other side of the, where did she even find this box from? Um, it's a water box. It's from By Your Desk. As soon as you like, she even hears you rip it open, she comes running because she's like, ooh, look, another toy. There's toys. This dog is worse than like having a little toddler. There's oh, yeah. toys everywhere. And she does not want you to put them away. No, can't put them away. There's bones everywhere. What are you doing? What are you doing? And she owns this couch. She's like, nobody can lay on this couch but me. So for those of you who are wondering like, what is a CGM? I wanted to show it to you. This is how they come. Um, this is 14 days. My prescription allows me to get two of them. So I have enough for 28 days and then I just go and refill it. And uh, this is the sensor part. So you have this right here. It comes like with this cup. And then this is the reader. This part here, you actually don't need. If you have a smartphone like uh, you know, an iPhone or a good, a better Android and stuff, because you can just use those to actually read it. So all you're gonna do is you just peel off this top like this, and there's a little line on here, and then you line that line up with the line here on the sensor, put it down like this. Now it's gonna be ready to go. We'll just take a little, they give you like an alcohol strip here. And you're just gonna put it like on the back of your arm somewhere. So I also take a razor and shave on my arm where I'm gonna put it because otherwise what happens is, is there's like an adhesive on the back of this thing and it starts after a few days, it starts pulling on those hairs and it really, really hurts after a while. So you just take it like this and then push it in. And that's it, it's in. You don't feel it go in or anything like that. Now all I have to do is just take this reader and activate this thing. And so you turn it on, it'll say this, I have a new sensor. Do I wanna start it? Yes, so now you have to start it again. And it'll say, I can start reading again in 60 minutes. So if you have a cell phone and don't have this, you can just do the same thing with that. Now if you wanna use both, if you do get the reader, you have to activate it with the reader and then you can read it with either the reader or the cell phone. But if you activate it with your cell phone, you won't be able to use the reader on that sensor. It's, it's kind of a weird setup. I like the sensor because it also does blood. So it doesn't matter either way, but that's what a CGM is. The cool thing about it is, is you can check your glucose at any time. Okay, see if I'm there yet. Keto pina coladas. Oh my gosh. You have nailed this. 
Why aren't we doing a recipe video on this? Uh, cause I'm almost out of ingredients and I'm still perfecting it a little bit. I don't, is it, is it there yet? Oh, it's there. It's there. It's like we're in, we're in Jimmy Buffett land. Maybe I need to try and actually measure out the ingredients as I pour stuff in for once. <laughs> so you can duplicate it? <laughs> yeah, I just keep pouring stuff until it like looks right. Uh, Tabitha's in here, Rachel must be in here. Hey Tabitha. Good morning. Is it yet? <laughs> you fell asleep last night. I feel like I get hit by a truck. We've been getting up really early, working really hard. <laughs> it's like, hey. Yeah, I, I gotta have some coffee. And it's not even black. I actually put Kai two in it because I'm hoping to just like perk up my day. So yeah, it's eight o'clock in the morning. We're gonna finish it up right now. But yeah, you fell asleep. You didn't even go on for the uh, live stream for Keto Chow. So it was good because we just made fun of you the whole live stream. <laughs> just kidding no it was a good live stream so you want to finish this up yeah let's do it so i'm gonna go take a shower you're gonna take a shower and start this new day start a new day but we're gonna finish up this day on this video right here okay so <laughs> that is our nonsense full day meeting like we didn't really discuss anything but we didn't it was a full day meeting Sort of. Well, I guess we did show everything we ate. Yeah. We didn't just have anything else going on. No. Are you Welcome to our normal life. Are you having that experience where just like the day goes by and you're like, what the heck was that all about? <laughs> well, that is our video for today. Please do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. That way, every single time we do a nonsense video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.